Work on the Cabris 3 and 4 roof has begun and starting Monday a demolition team will be brought in to remove the charred roof and move forward with its investigation into the explosion of Cabris 3 and 4. GPA General Manager John Beneventi says that it will take anywhere from 30 to 45 days before the Cabris roof removal will be completed. At that time, Beneventi says that they can better assess what caused the explosion at Cabris 3 and 4. Beneventi says that once the demolition team comes in next week and removes the old roof, a temporary roof will be built and investigators can begin to see up close and personal what caused the explosion. The company that was contracted to demolish the roof is Pernix Guam LLC. Former general manager of the Guam Power Authority, Joaquin Flores, is listed as a senior advisor for Pernix Guam. Current general manager of GPA, John Beneventi, tells PNC what's next after the roof removal. Once they put up a temporary roof, then uh, again the decision on moving forward with Cabris number three uh, has to be made, and therefore from there uh, they can design the the final permanent uh, roof for the, <coughs> for the machine. Okay. But the first part is really removing the roof, allowing us to take a look at the engines, and then after that putting up a temporary roof, not one that will withstand typhoon if you will right. I hope so but it's not really designed for that right. but certainly will be adequate uh, protection for for the rest of the machinery uh, within the plant Beneventi says that Cabris 1 will be taken down for preventative maintenance starting this weekend and the fast track generators should be ready before the December 30th target date